the Old Edwardians Football Club Ex Players Association has expressed their gratitude to members of the diaspora for their annual support, which has once again proven to be a lifeline for the association. The generous donation has enabled the association to continue its mission of supporting former players who are falling on the hard times. John Dominic Coney, the head coach of the Old Edwardian Football Club and also an ex-player of the club, was one of the beneficiaries of this year's donation. He expressed his heartfelt appreciation to the diaspora members for their kind gesture, emphasizing the significant impact it has had on his life and the lives of many others. Yeah, first of all, I want to be grateful, you know, that I'm, I'm alive to see this particular day. You know, um, uh, I want to say thanks to my fellow past players within the diaspora. And uh, I see them put, I mean, a cash together when they send for, you know, we within the Sierra Leone. And uh, as I say earlier on, I want to be grateful for that. Um, it means a lot. It, it really shows, say, we call it the way they overseas, really get we at heart. They want to see we look good. They want to see we look happy. And uh, by so doing, they make the family keep going. And uh, also, if some of we get the same opportunity for go overseas, of course we will do likewise for support the one within Sierra Leone. I want to tell them to come on board because the name of the, the organization is All Edwardian X Players. So that they don't tell you, see, if you're not an Edwardian, we don't sweat for this team. I think it's your team. I think it's your organization. So let's come in and make this organization look better. You might get idea where we were presently then at the, at the I mean, organization, not get. So bring that your idea so that we make the organization grow in the near future. Patrick James, the chairman of the Old Edwardian Football Club Ex Players Association, revealed that the diaspora members had donated over 34,000 new limbs to the association. This substantial amount has allowed over 42 members of the association to benefit from the financial aid provided. Now, annual events we, we can do today. That at the end of every year we can give bonus to people that have been on play for the club over the years, right? Um, a born out of the gesture of the one they're waiting out there in the diaspora, we think and feel say, okay, they don't get the privilege, they don't go out there. What about the one they're waiting back home, we can't afford? So then we think and feel say, okay, let's we'll begin dish out to them. So at the end of every year we can give people in packages, right? So now that we can do this afternoon. Well, the amount we give is very. Right, it all depends on your active participation at the association. Right, some people in the way actively involved, some people in the way are just once in a while we they see them. Some they were actively involved with in terms of con financial contributions or subscription or whatever. We they attend meetings there, we they attend other functions them. We make sure they get something like close to about a million. The others them, some they were around 800, then the, the, the majority get about 650,000. Well, it means say we they show concern for each other. We not pay setters for football at this country because I believe say all the clubs and they in this country we don't start we not done studies. For example, Mr. Me football career and a mighty Blackpool. And they are play during my days at Cali Town and We are not saying Blackpool is gone within two years, so I play even for East Lions. But we don't set the pace. I believe say team like a fish is then say, say I find out say they don't they follow suit. This is not just for encourage people and say if you don't play, you belong to people them, so set of people. Left. We all not be the same. Some of we okay, things okay for we, but some of we colleagues and they we things not okay for them. Right? So we get for make sure say they all belong. We get that sense of belonging. Then we come together with the rob skin. Remember the hate days over the rob skin at this field, we they go with the forum things. I mean, we have all been young in those days, but now we age don't catch up with we. Some man when you see him, you they feel sorry for him. So if we come together, if you believe, you get something we of concern, you seek, with the chip in with pockets, we make sure say we go go assist you. Patrick James also took the opportunity to encourage all former players to join the association, emphasizing that the support network it provides is invaluable. He highlighted the importance of unity and solidarity among ex-players as they can collectively contribute to the betterment of each other's lives. Well, I would just like to encourage them to make them make sure so they can join this association. I mean, Within the short term way we don't form the association, we don't get a good amount of money, we don't save the bank. We, they, we have to make sure, say, for far too long, people they don't they look footballers as a dropout of society. 
Like me as the chairman now for change that orientation day. Let people know say you get people that can fit into any uh, uh, position at this country. We they try for make sure say we rebrand the minds of people. Then the one that we don't play, even the one that we they play now, because at the end of the day you fall back. We don't left football, right? Some of we we all the, come from different backgrounds. Some of we educate, some day we not be educated, right? But we all get get the common talent for play the football, right? But so if they like a today, some man don't they left the end. If if you come together, you meet some of your colleagues there yesterday, then they assist you. I think so that will boost you up. I mean, mentally and psychologically, that will help you. The old Edwardian Football Club ex Players Association has been instrumental in providing financial aid, medical assistance, and educational support to former players who faced hardship after retiring from the sport. The association aims to ensure that no player is left behind and that they receive the necessary support to lead fulfilling lives beyond their playing careers. The annual support from the diaspora members has become a tradition that the association greatly rely on. Their unwavering commitment to the welfare of their fellow ex-players is a testament to the strong bond and comrade within the old Edwardian football club community. For Star TV News in Freetown, I am George Elliot Sam reporting.